What's up, y'all? Bricks from Bricks Fitness, and it's Sunday morning. I think, honestly, I think Sunday morning is the best time to dedicate to your meal prep. Like, maybe you could do it before church or before you do whatever you do on Sundays, but it's important that you schedule this time and you dedicate this time to doing your meal prep for the week or whatever. For me, I like to do it for three days at a time because I don't know about you, I don't like eating six-day-old chicken breast. I'm just saying. Not only am I going to show you guys what I meal prep, because I don't prep every one of my meals. I only prep lunch and dinner, and I prep my snacks, which is usually just yogurt or protein bars. I want to show you guys everything I'll eat this week, pretty much. To the people who are on my 12-week transformation jumpstart program, I want you to pay close attention to this video because when I tell you meal prep is the key to a successful transformation, it is the key. So pay close attention to this. Also, I make meal plans. So here's my thing. It's easier to kind of eat the same thing all week, but I'm, I'm going to be honest. That's what I'm going to do with this meal plan. But honestly, you should add variety to your meal plan. If you eat the same thing, yes, you'll be able to do it for maybe a few weeks, but you're going to get sick of it. So I'm just giving you the heads up. If you can manage to add variety to your meal planning, I'm only going to be prepping one type of meat today. But if you can add variety, trust me, that's the best way to go. All right, for this prep, we're going to need frozen veggies, which is the simplest, easiest way to get your veggies. And they're cheaper. Some boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I got this for... $1.99 a pound. You can't beat that for some good Purdue boneless skinless chicken breast. This one is hand trimmed. So most of the fat is already gone. Love it. We got the snacks here. And then I usually get I usually eat one fruit a day. So I don't I don't do too much fruit, but I definitely add fruit to my diet because I need the micronutrients. Yeah, my hands are ashy, babe, but I don't care. Whatever. Let's keep it going. Apple cider vinegar. You guys know that I am an advocate for the use of apple cider vinegar. And get your metal straw. You want to try to limit the contact between this stuff and your teeth. All right. So for my carbs, I'm going to be doing sweet potatoes and red potatoes. And of course, eggs. Listen, my diet is probably, I want to say 60% eggs that's why you got the poops and then oh <laughs> yeah are you putting me out there and then oatmeal this is what i eat every single morning my sweetener options i've recently started using liquid stevia game changer and then uh this is the powder stevia and my protein powder my crock pot listen for people like me who cannot cook crock pot will be your best friend or a george foreman grill but I say go with a crock pot. Drinks, right? Do not, I repeat, if you are trying to lose weight, if you're trying to lose fat, do not drink your calories. Especially nowadays where they have amazing drinks like this, where there's no calories and it's delightful. Now that I've washed my hands, I'm gonna get this for a bubble. But listen, I'm gonna keep it 100% funky with y'all. I hate touching chicken meat. I'm not gonna front, but I'm gonna be a good sport. Okay. First lesson. What? You should have got your seasoning and your fork and all that out before you touch the chicken. So it's out and ready. Okay. Because then you have to wash your hands again. Well, now you have to wash your hands again anyway, but. Okay. All right, so the first thing I do is I assess the meat, right? Pause. I'm I see where there's some excess fat. Again, this one has pretty much been pre-trimmed. Um, if you can get the little pieces off, the more the better. I'm not too anal about it. Whatever little pieces of fat is not gonna kill you. Again, if you can get as much of it off as possible. This, this meat is pretty lean. Typically, if you pay more for your chicken breast, it'll have less fat on it. And mind you guys, I don't really know how to cook. So uh, all critiques are welcome about my process. I'm gonna cut the breast in half. All right. That made it feel a lot better. 
So now, here's the thing about seasoning. I'm not obsessive about my salt intake. If your goal is to be super lean, then you'll wanna be extra mindful about salt. We don't really use heavy salt-based seasonings. We use Mrs. Dash, this has no salt in it. Cumin is, I think it's salt-free. If it's not salt-free, it's very low in salt. Um, onion powder and garlic powder, they're very low in salts. They have a little bit in it, but it's as long as you're not, I wouldn't worry too much about the salt levels in them, as long as you're using low salt seasonings. I usually season the heaviest with my no salt seasoning. So the Mrs. Dash, I like the table blend. And again, this is a lot of chicken, so it may look like I'm putting a lot of seasoning, but it's, there's a lot of chicken in there. almost forgot you can always add a little bit a little bit of pepper obviously there's no salt in the pepper here's the beauty of cooking with a crock pot it's super easy I don't never mix up the, the seasonings I kind of just put the top on I'm gonna set this on high so on low it usually takes depending on how much chicken you have in there for this amount it, it will probably take about seven hours to cook this on low I'm gonna set it on high it's 8.40 right now. We just got to go to church and then we got a lunch meeting and by the time we get back and that'll take about four hours. So on high, it takes about four hours to cook this amount of chicken. I don't have the fancy version that automatically cuts it off. So I definitely have to be mindful of the time that I'm spending away from my crock pot. But there are better ones that after the, the time period set, like let's say you put it on high and it sets for four hours, it'll automatically switch to keep warm. So, but this one unfortunately doesn't do that. But anyway, it's, that's neither here nor there. So this has been cooking for about four, four and a half hours. The chicken's done. Yep, there's no pink on the inside. So that's Gucci. I'm gonna link the how you calculate your calories in your macros video. It's gonna be in the description and there's gonna be a link right here. Click this link, figure out how many calories you, sh you should be eating figure out your the correct macro setting for whatever your particular goals are and you'll use that to determine how much food you're going to actually put into your tupperware container the most important aspect first and foremost is calories you want to make sure that the total amount of calories you eat for the day leaves you in a deficit which will allow you to lose body fat but i'm going to determine how much chicken i put into my tupperware based on my protein goals. So I try to hit about 185 grams of protein a day. So I usually eat anywhere from six to eight ounces of chicken breast per meal, depending on what my snacks are. It depends on a few factors, but for the most part, I usually eat between six and eight ounces of chicken breast each meal, right? So I'm going to be preparing two meals per day. So what I do is I throw my Tupperware on the scale and then you hit tear, zero it out about six ounces on that joint let's see boom so I'm gonna fill all of these with with six ounces of chicken breast and then now for my carb listen I like to keep things simple I like to keep it as easy as possible it's a lot easier to make red potatoes than it is to make sweet potatoes sweet potatoes take a while to to make um, so I put the red potatoes in the microwave. So I'm gonna put about four of these in the microwave and set it for about five minutes. And then I'll, I usually throw some frozen veggies in the microwave as well. Simple, I'm not a cooker. So this works for me, it's easy and it gets it done quick. All right, here's the thing. Now, my meals are probably gonna be a lot smaller than the average meal prep that you'll see on the internet or even yours. 
because for one, I eat a very big breakfast. My first meal of the day is anywhere from a thousand to 1500 calories. That's where I like to spend most of my calories, most of my carbs. And I also, from time to time, maybe three or four times a week, I eat a pint of ice cream. A pint of protein ice cream, but a pint of ice cream nevertheless. So with that being said, I make sure I take away some carbs and calories from my meals. Is it the most healthy way to do it? Probably not, but that's just the way I do it. I live a flexible dieting lifestyle. I don't really stick to traditional ways of eating because you know what? There's a lot of different ways to maintain your body fat or lose body fat, and you don't have to follow your traditional bro science to do it. So that's just a little disclaimer. So you can see, these are my meals. I'm gonna add the broccoli and cauliflower to each one. And I'm kind of like eyeballing these because whatever. I don't really count my, my vegetables as long as I'm eating them. So these are my meals. So I, like I said, I normally eat a big breakfast. This is normally my oatmeal. And then I'll have one of these for lunch. Then I'll have a protein bar or yogurt as a snack. And then I'll have one of these for dinner. And that's it. There's not much more to meal prepping. Now, I, what I usually do is I, like I'll have a, I have a cooler and I'll put it in my trunk. And as I'm leaving the door, if I know I'm gonna be gone for most of the day, I'll make sure I have my meals with me. That is key. You know, I say this to people all the time. If I can give credit to two things for my success with weight loss, it would be meal prepping and research. Those two areas will give you the biggest return when it comes to weight loss. And that's just what it is. Slow it. Wow. Go bow, bow. Go bow, wow. Go to BricksFitness.com. I'm making meal plans. I have meal plans. They are customized to your specific needs. So if you don't want to click the link and do the entire process and figure out how many calories you should be eating, go to BricksFitness.com. There's a questionnaire and I will make the meal plan catered specifically to you. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it helped you guys. And as always, I'm just trying to share the wellness. So get well and get money.